Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel One Pizza Too Many cooking and unboxing videos. Now today the sun is shining because we're on a road trip. We are going out on the road, we're not cooking in the garden and we are heading to the Skillcraft Pizza Factory where Dave and Lisa are going to be waiting for us to show us around the factory, show us how a Vesta is put together and show us some of their other products as well. I'm so excited. I, I love pizza. I love pizza ovens. And I'm a bit, a bit of a pizza oven geek, let's face it. So to see one being built in the flesh is going to be fantastic. And I hope you're excited with me. So let's jump in the uh, Land Rover and let's get off to the Skillcraft factory. Let's go. So, we've made it to the Skillcraft factory. I'm so excited to see these ovens being made. I hope you are. So, let's head in. Let's try and find Dave who runs this place with Lisa and uh, see what it's all about. Right, let's go in, find Dave. It's all exciting. Hello, is that Dave? Hey, Hi, man. I hope Dave, you all right? Good to meet you. Yes, and you. Good to meet you. So, uh, this is Dave, yeah, Hi. owner of uh, Skillcraft Pizza Ovens, yeah. uh, the, the big boss man himself. Uh, thanks for having us. No problem, no problem. Uh, really excited. Um, we're going to have a look how some pizza ovens are made, have a look at some of the ovens that Dave and the guys do here, um, and a little surprise at the end. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Um, yeah, good. Can I just say, check out these bad boys. Yeah. These look Th cool, This is what they? we do in between making ovens. <laughs> now we make ovens in between playing these. Yeah. Through the top, without 
you know, the, the fun that they're having at the moment, having to jigsaw holes at things like that. Everything will be pre-made. And these will be made, these will be available in black, um, a light grey and an olive green. Wow. So you can have a skill craft oven and a, a shelter that's made for it in your garden. This, this sounds better every day, doesn't it? Yeah, and we're, we're looking at doing log storage, you know, incorporating in this yeah. as well, you know, so um, it all forms, you know, the, the bigger picture. There's more products at the moment, Skillcraft's got, you know, we've, we've, got, we've, got, we've, got, we've got wood fired ovens, we've got um, horse box trailers that we make uh, from, from scratch from new, and we've got other, other pizza oven trailers, and this just helps us to get to get more, more products into the line. Right, I'm excited. Let's move on. Right, we're on to a bit of uh, tooling and machinery now. Always excites me. Come on, Dave, tell us what's happening. Okay, well, yeah. Um, the Marlon Billy's rolling the top covers. Uh, that'll be for a vest track. So the top covers are made from aluminium. Um, and we use aluminium. It's, it's two mil thick. Uh, with insulation, we've got, in, it, it's got, it's got great thermal qualities. With, when, when working with the ceramic insulation, so you put your hand on top, it'd be like a hot cup of coffee or a hot radiator, yeah. you know, rather than your hand stick to it. And we've, we've had lots of success doing it this way. So what we use on it, we just use a you know, set of standard pyra pyramid rollers, as they call them. We roll all the tops that way. And people have been making them that way for 100 years, you know. And we've got our sister company, DG, we've got a lot, we've got a lot more of the same, but the idea was to bring out all the manufacturing, all the machine work, into Skillcraft rather than just assembly, which is what we're doing. So we've got flue making machines and we've got various hand folders and other machines I'll show you. I'll show you. Real. And then obviously they come in all different colours, so what happens now? Yeah, so, how, how so what, what, what happens now, just in the background there, you can see some, some, cut, some painted covers there. So what we'll do, we'll form it, uh, we'll clean it up and then we'll send them to our powder coat. And there's a range of colours, anthracite, Antique copper, poppy red, um, stainless steel, and various other colours. Olive green we're doing, and uh, but we can do bespoke colours as well. You know, as long as it's off a off a standard rail colour chart, we, we can do it. You know, and, and the other thing is with the covers, as you can see, there's there's three apertures each side where the screws fit. So if you get fed up with a red one in 12 months' time, you can have a copper one. Fantastic! You know. That sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, we've moved round now onto the next bit, so talk us through what we've got here today because it looks like we're starting to get a bit of shape to it. Okay, well this, this again is a Vesta. Um, it's actually, this will be a Vesta Plus, which is a stainless steel front and a tile base rather than a fire base. So here we've got the, we've got the, gaze, the, the base, which is two mil thick galvanised steel, with uh, welded channels in. Each channel and each void is filled with 128 uh, kilogram ceramic insulation. So e e even the Vestas have got, have got floor insulation. Uh, so the Vesta Plus has got four, four slabs. Um, stainless steel back, stainless steel front, um, and otherwise it's the same dimensions as, as a normal Vesta. Yeah. And the the tiles, the tiles help, especially if you're, in, you're doing pizza rather than rather than meats and using Tuscan grills and things. The the tiles help immensely for moving pizza around rather than the fibres. Fantastic. Right, so we've got Billy. He's uh, putting this together. That's quite simple. We, we swapped the tiles uh, simply because you know if you ever get a, get a a crack in the tile they're quite easy to replace um, very very simple these are refractory slabs and the material is what they call LC 1600 which is suitable up to 1600 degrees the 25 mil thick which is a lot thicker than a lot of the you know a lot of the other brands are used 10 mil thick slate, slate tiles and things like that so and, and those of you that have seen um, my unboxing video delicious coffees skill craft Vesta, you'll see that it's got the bricks, so it might be good if we'll, we'll get some of these uh, tiles um, and we'll do a bit of a video as well. So, if you, you have got a Vesta and you're thinking of upgrading your base from brick to the tiles, you know how to do it, and then obviously, you can buy yourself some of these tiles um, and do a bit of an upgrade as well. 
Um, how easy are they to actually change, Dave? Have you, have you got to take it apart? Or? They're, 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 they're quite simple. The Vesta has got a, has got a, uh, well, the, the Vesta has got a strip on the front which you simply unscrew and take off, take the fire bits out. Some people, the fire bits will come out on their own. Some people take the fire bits out or the tiles out to make it easier to lift. Yeah. Uh, because this, the Vesta plus and the Vesta, uh, about 75 kilos, so they're, they're quite heavy. Uh, but people are. Uh, often surprised, they take the tiles out and the oven is still very heavy, yeah. you know, and, and you know, so it's not always a, a benefit. But you can retrofit the tiles if need be. Um, but you know, the, the, the bricks are probably the best seller by three to one, you know, so the bricks have still got a, fun, a function. The clay bricks they last a very, very long time, easy and cheap to replace. It's personal preference, really. But we made the Vesta Plus as a, a slightly um, as a premium version with a stainless front, stainless back, and and tile base. So, uh, just talk us through what's happening here. Right, Ashley is welding the internal ovens. So at the moment, it's on uh, Vestas. All the internal ovens are all the same material. They're all uh, grade three one six stainless steel. Uh, we fully weld all the ovens, including the rear and the spigots, and we use MIG and TIG welding process in the pro in the process. We also weld um, aluminium, mild steel, as well as stainless. Steel. And there's, there's various different there's different welding procedures on each oven. There's TIG, there's MIG, and there's aluminium, there's stainless, there's mild steel. Right. You see Ashley in the back doing some welding. Dave, what's the, uh, you know, why fully weld? Because I know other pizza ovens don't fully weld. Yeah, well, we, we fully weld them. I mean, it's, it's at extra uh, manufacturing cost. Um, but what it does, it, it, it uh, stops the smoke and the heat escaping. Um, and we, we view it as pretty critical. Because the stainless steel has got a, got, got a memory, an elastic memory. So when it heats up and, and uh, it, it contracts and expands, and the fully welded, and fitted oven uh, enables it to go back to its original shape up on heat and still, you know, which is why when you get a new oven and you and you put a fire in it and you heat it you'll hear tings and pings and stainless steel stretching and coming back. If you don't fully weld it then you'll have you'll start get the small gaps will start enlarging and you'll have you'll, you could have serious problems later on. So this one's got the back on it's got the front on it's getting the internal oven going on now. And then they're gonna normally this will be uh it'll be bolted or riveted. Yeah, it's really fixed bolted. bolted. So it normally be bolted but so we can get see what happens they they're just gonna show us putting yeah, some it's, insulation. It's really on. to show show the detail of the oven, fully welded and the insulation that we that we put in. We don't scrimp. And we're talking about insulation. Um, if you see the unboxing video of the Vesta, you will see at the end, after it had been on for, I think it was three hours we had that running, um, I was able to put my hand on it. It was warm but it wasn't, you know, wouldn't burn you, so just so you can see. The different styles of the Vesta, the Apollo and the Vulcan. As the oven grows, the insulation grows. So the Vesta's got about 60 mil of insulation on the top, and the Apollo's got about 90 insulation, and the Vulcan's got, got more. Um, insulated the oven, any voids at the back we stuff of we stuff full of insulation so all this all this void is filled which makes sure you get a cool back 
and I'm guessing that the angle is to, because obviously, I suppose you could have just gone straight to the back, but what the angle is to help with the plane. We, we, to get the angle correct, it probably took us six or nine months on each on each oven to get it exactly right. So, so, so when you're building a fire, uh, your heat and your smoke and your flue gases, they all circulate and go in the right direction. And the idea is to, to bring them out through the flue and the sloping back helps you clean slate. So the, so the rolling, rolling flame and the heat will roll around the top, the fluid gas will come from the flue. And the sloping back helps. Uh, right, so we're now at the sort of sales line, if you like, Dave, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. So um, we've seen the Vesta over there being put together. This is an Apollo, same process. Um, but we've basically seen all this. We've seen um, the installation going on. So talk us through the next steps there. Okay, this this stage had the slabs put in, the internal oven fitted down in the insulation, fitted and packed rigidly on the top and all over. So once once that's checked, uh, all we do now is cover it with, put the cover on, Simp simply fix it down with uh, six screws, which helps. It's in transit, you may have, or, or moving it if you move it onto a stand or somewhere else in the garden or, or wherever. Uh, sometimes you can, you, can, you can move or dislodge the, the cover with simply just under the screws, push it back down and tighten it again. As, as we've already said, you can take the, under the screws, take the cover off, put a different colour on if you're that way inclined. Yeah. Uh, but that's the Apollo. The Eterno, very similar to this, but all stainless steel. Um, the, the Eterno is really for heavy duty commercial use, so the, the internal oven is a thicker material. Which helps longevity, but the, the pot a very good oven. As you can see, you know, it's, it's got quite a lot of insulation, and the thermal properties are very, very good. Fantastic, so that's the Apollo. Um, and then look at this beast. Wow. Okay, this, so the Vulcan. Uh, we introduced the Vulcan probably about two years ago, um, and it's it's a very good seller. It's, it's not far behind the Vesta, which is our general back garden oven. Um, the commercial guys have, have, have took to it very, very well. Uh, there's very, you know, there's versions of this for putting horse boxes on trailers, or some people still have, have these in the back garden. As you can see, it's a, it's a massive internal oven. It's 92 centimeters by 81 centimeters. Uh, Four-piece tile set out, uh, 30 mil thick refract refractory slab, um, and it's, you know, it, it's good. It's good for pizza. Uh, it's good for for meats, it's, it's good for anything. It, it's a general all-rounder, but it yeah. is a big oven. You need a big fire to get, to get it going, but you know, it gives people you know immense pleasure. If you if you're gonna go big, the yeah. Vulcan, go big or go home with this. Go thing. big or go home. Yeah. 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 yeah, brilliant. And again, uh, this has just been updated as well, on to I've been yeah, on, 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 yes, that's right. On, on our it's our other site, which is a couple of miles away from here, we've got a just a new laser cutter, so we, we're changing the way we do the badges and various other things, and we've got these nice little cutouts now. Um, so you know, most of them will all come with either laser cut badges or or, or the internal cutouts with a yeah. name plate on. So yeah, it works. It works very well. It works very well. I think, I think kind of. Um, just modernise it a bit compared to the because they were brass badges. Were they were brass badges, and the brass badges have changed colour in yeah. the heat, and the cool down they changed colour again. And we bought some, we bought the, we bought the badges from Sweden. They've been going increasingly harder to get with postal problems and all sorts of problems. But you know, we, we, you know, our aim is to make everything in house by the end of this year, and we're probably 90% of the way into that. We bought a flu making machine, we, you know, and other things will enable us to do it. We're a little way off here, but we will be there. Yeah. And then this is like the staple oven in your sort of yeah, the, 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 the Vesta, when we, you know, when we're making the, the original Apollo, the original Apollos, um, we had an off cut of steel that we didn't really know what to do with, so we decided to make a smaller oven. So the Vesta is, is heavy duty, it's two mil thick steel, the same as the bigger ones, uh, for, for that reason, but we made, we made it as a trial, uh, but we, we made a trial batch of 20 units, I think, and I think we sold in about two days. Yeah. And since then, you know, in the last couple of years, we've been really knocking out Vestas more than anything. Yeah. Um, you know, we sell, they're, they're our best seller. 
Um, so how many how many sort of investors can you can you do it a, a day or? We can, we can we can assemble. I mean, we, we, we can we can produce hundreds a day if we wanted in the metalwork side. But actually, assembly we can assemble about fifteen a day. Fifteen a day. So, so not massive scales, but no. you know, family-run business. Yeah, everything's bespoke. Everything's handmade. We used to. We, we at first we decided to make batches and put them into stock. We decided against that because everybody wants different colours. Some people might want to stand and, and you know another thing. So so every oven is made to order. Um, yeah, and, and that's you know, and that's what we do. Every, everyone's a little bit different. People can can you know can can modify them slightly. They can, you know, and, and we do that. You know, different floor arrangements, different stands. You know, whatever, and it enables us to do it. But yeah, it's everything's locally sourced. And, you know, all the, you know all the steel. Everything on this is is um, all the materials, all the steels, all UK purchased, and, and that's what we're trying to do. Brilliant, brilliant, and I love this. This red colour is amazing. Popping red, yeah, it's brilliant, yeah, yeah. yeah. And stand as well, made in factory. Stand, the stands are made in this factory, yeah. yeah. And we send them out to the local powder coat. We also do a stainless steel variant of that, which looks the same on each stainless steel. We yeah. tend to uh, use those on the internals. And then, um, as we were discussing earlier, hopefully thinking about maybe making a cover for these, for, you know. Yeah, we're going to be making we're making a shelter for it. You know, we, we briefly discussed the earlier one. It'll probably be a, um, a slightly different table um, with a, with an extension, with a, with a canopy over, and, and a side table maybe. But those are the things that we're looking at to, to, to try and get out this year. Yeah. Um, you know, just accessories. Yeah. You know, we, we find everybody. You know, most people who buy a Vesta want something to go with it, either a table or a stand or something. We're trying to incorporate it, and you know, try and make it good good value for money. You know. um, yeah. yeah. And then, while well, we're, we're on, we've got some different uh, log guards. So this is a stainless steel log guard. So why, why do people, people might, that don't know about these ovens, why, why might you need a log guard, Dave? Well, it keeps, it, it keeps the, firstly, it keeps the ash away from your food and also controls the flame somewhat and uh, stop, it stop it burning your food. But, you know, there's a, a bit of a debate, some people, Think it's essential some people don't even use them you know yeah. it, it, it's purely personal choice you know i'll find it easy for scraping the ash you know you know yeah. pushing the logs back in place pretty yeah. pretty simple so we do we do the stainless steel one which is which is a light duty one really yeah. we do the, the heavier six mil that beast six mil laser cut plate and again the, these are all made by you guys as these well. are all made they, these are all made here yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, this, these are really consumable. It's all probably warp and distort over time. This one lasts for I mean, look at I mean, that. That's a huge bit of kit. So if you are on the website looking at these, yeah, there is an option for the stainless steel and the heavy duty. We've got uh, the heavy duty guards and the stainless steel one. So uh, I'm going to be cheeky and see if I can get a couple of these to take with me. Um, and we're going to do a video on versus if that's all right Dave sure yeah yeah see on camera they can never say no 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 <laughs> right so you've just seen um, the three main ovens but you don't just do ovens like this do you Dave no especially the, the Vulcan is, is, is very much commercialized and and we've offered all sorts of solutions horse boxes trails or uh, we make the horse boxes as well but uh, we also do a trailerized version for the Vulcan which which is this um, Look at this. We, 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 did, we did two types. We did, we did the Vulcan on the trail, and we do a slightly larger one that has a hand wash right. and, and things as well. But uh, these, you know, pop up pizza for people, and during the lockdown and, and, and various other things, you, you tend to, you know, seen a lot of these parts on pub car parks selling yeah. pizza. You know, but we've sold more for of these. I mean, t t this week alone, we took six orders for these. Six of these. And uh, you know, they're, they're very good. They're very good value. Of, you know what, what they are. It's a very good oven. And yeah. it's, it's, it's a, a standard chassis trailer that we bought and convert um, and you make it work. And you find that these they travel all right, the stone and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. people put a cover on them for transporting or just literally just... Take, just take the flue out. Take the flue, take the doors, put it in a storage area yeah. at the back and, and that's all you need that's to do. Go. Yeah. And talk, talking of uh, like storage, and these ovens are out, just left outside if you, you know, if, let's say someone hasn't got anywhere to like put or anything to keep Yeah, well, I mean, we, we can supply covers, but uh, generally most people just leave them out to the elements. I mean, the, the, the initial thinking behind 
the first design of the first ovens that we did, after trialling other ovens, um, was that we need to make it suitable for the British weather. Yeah. So it needs to, so it needs to, it needs to be able to be heated up quickly in in cold weather. The first oven we did the Apollo. We tested that with minus eight in the factory. Minus, minus, minus eight. eight. And it took me two hours to get it up to temperature, but at least I knew I knew we could do it. And yeah. uh, you know, it's okay. You know, if you look at various reviews on various ovens, they'll say you know up to 500 degrees in 15 minutes, which is based on somebody making an oven in Portugal where it's already 30 degrees. You know, <laughs> you know which, which, which is very hot. But yeah, they're, they're made for the British weather. They're, they're durable, heat-resisting, powder-coated front. You can use heat resistant paint and keep it looking new for as long as, you, as long as you like. Some people prefer that to the stainless because the stainless, although you never have to paint it up, you know, the first time you use it, it'll discolour. Yeah. You know, so, so the heat resistant paint is a good, is a good compromise. We, offer, we, we do offer that. Um, yeah. the, 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 the top is perfectly coated aluminium, it's never, never going to rust. Wipe it down with warm salty water, that's all you need to do. Nice, easy as that. Right, so you've just seen the uh, oven being wrapped, that's how they go out, Dave, is it? Yeah, we put them on a, we, we box them up and put them on a shrink wrap, and that's, uh, uh, the, 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 well, the latest bit of equipment we've got, the shrink wrap, and it's become an essential piece of equipment with trouble with whether it pallet all these companies and things, you know, so, um, yeah. we, we can only do so much, but this is, uh, it, it certainly works. Yeah, cool. And then here we are. So that's the, uh, an oven ready to go. And the good news is, this one doesn't need collecting by a courier company. Yeah. Because hopefully, this is going to be going in the back of my Land Rover. <laughs> this is my oven. I told you I was excited and we had some news, so this is my oven. Um, I'm going to be taking it back, doing an unboxing video. You don't know what oven this is. I do. Cameraman's smiling, he does. Dave does. Yeah, so we're going to do an unboxing video of this coming up. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel hit that notifications bell of when I release a new video because you're not going to want to miss this, I'm so excited. So, now for the fun and games of getting it in and then I better give you some money Dave. <laughs> right, here we go. So, made a bit of a racking. Let's, let's see if this happens. Did you measure this? Yeah, okay, go down a bit, Bill. Down a touch. Down a touch more. Down a bit. Down a bit. Yeah, you've got down, you can go down quite a bit. Down a bit, touch more. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Right. Yeah, perfect. Keep going straight. Keep going. I've got to watch it down. I've got to shut. I didn't buy on. Yeah. Right, touch more. Stop. That's a low it down. And take another one. Alright, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Take it back to two. Alright. Yeah, right. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Two back to two. Okay, then go in again. Right, yeah? Yeah. So I've got to back in the car, I've got to come down yeah. and have another gear. Yeah? So just try and push it in. Come on, go back. We should be able to come on now. Let's try and push it in. Yeah. Right, shall I keep that? That's it. Come on, go. Well, I'll come out. I'll come out the way I like it. Push it in there you are. Okay. A bit more? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's as far as it will. Got your trunk anyway, you're going to give you the box there. Yes, right. <laughs> Moment of truth. Who needs pallet ways? <laughs> <laughs> Jobs are good. <laughs> Brilliant, right, well, thanks Dave. You've got me uh, paperwork, instructions and uh, Instructions and paperwork and fantastic, guarantee. Fantastic, fantastic. Now I'm, now I'm very, 
very much a bit lighter on the pocket, but I can't wait to get this uh, pizza oven back, Dave. Get it, get some videos cooking on it. Yeah. So, um, warranty things like that. Obviously, it's not a set in stone warranty that you give people, but you've never had any well, that many issues. You know, the, the normal statutory, you know, one year warranty that you get with anything. But you know, uh, we were always honest with our customers. As long as they they have bought the oven from us and it's in their use, uh, we've had various. Um, uh, warranty claims um, with, with shipping and things like that, which obviously are covered. But if a tree was to fall on it, which, or, which, which does which, happen, which, which, uh, which happened last week, <laughs> or, or somebody um, drove into one with a forklift, I mean, we, we've got spare parts here, and you know, it ain't a big, it ain't a big deal for us to even rebuild an oven if you've got the, if you've got the base. So what we tend to say is. Um, you know, if you've bought an oven from us and there's, and there's any problems in the time that you own it, bring it back to us and we'll fix it. You know, if, it, if, it, you know, if it's a, if it's a major, a major issue, then well, know, we'll probably just charge parts at cost. But most of the time, in fact, I can't ever remember. And the customers will verify this, charging anybody, you know, for as long as you've got it. So, you know, it, it's it's a lifetime return to base to fix any niggles if if need be or. You know, or, or any problems like that. And we've rebuilt ovens where people have dropped them and moved them. So the warranty is no problem at all. You know, it's, so you can't, can't say it, fair it's, a, it's a fair warranty. Yeah. You just ask the question. You know, and you know, speak to me or Lisa, and you know, I'm sure we'll get you running again. And you've got a Facebook page up and running as well, aren't you? We've got a Facebook page, Backyard Pizzas UK, and and an Inferno Products page as well. Um, I'll stick links to them in the yeah. description as well. Yeah, fantastic, brilliant. So, and and, and the, the Facebook pages they're, they're run by the uh, run by the members. So, by all means, join and ask the questions on there and speak to people who, who own the ovens. Speak about the service, the ovens, and every, anything else you want to ask. Fantastic. Well, it's been it's been a pleasure to yeah, thanks come for to coming. the factory yeah, and uh, have a tour. Yeah, and we, 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 we welcome visitors. You know, any any potential customers welcome to come and have a look around and see what we do. You know. No problem at all. Yeah. Right. Let's go on the road back and uh, hopefully the traffic's light. Well, I hope you have enjoyed that as much as I have. I mean, that has been so good. The fact that I've got a pizza oven in the back, I cannot wait to get this home and get it set up. So, if you like what you've seen, Give me a thumbs up and obviously make sure you subscribe to the channel um, and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss another video. Um, it's going to be great. So till next time, I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. One piece too many.